Hey YouTube, welcome back to a new video and in today's video we have a new homes alert for you right here Powder Springs, Georgia. We're going to be taking a look at this community Old Lost Mountain Estates by Curly Family Homes. We're going to take you through, show you a few properties, well uh, a well, few floor plans and a few available lots that those floor plans will sit on. Also I'm going to give you a quick little tour of the community as it stands at this moment here in uh, the first week of August. Uh, but nonetheless the reason for this video is to let you know that there is activity for quick move-ins right here in powder springs georgia uh and new construction at that so uh, as you know as i've said on my channel the tides are turning the the markets are starting to correct in a way but don't get it twisted this is still a seller's market but statistically and and based on the data it is a seller's market but sellers and builders are being more aggressive nowadays even closing costs thousands and thousands of dollars incentives for you to come here and buy one of these new construction communities not only here at this community but all around the Atlanta metropolitan area so if you're thinking about moving to Atlanta or if you're already in Atlanta and you're thinking about buying a home or selling a home feel free to reach out to me all of my contact information will be in the description below I would love to assist you uh, as your realtor if you are unrepresented uh, so we can get your buying process started so feel free to reach out to me all right, guys, so let's go ahead and get our tour started here today. We're going to take a look at this floor plan behind me. Uh, it is called the Magnolia Plan, and there are several lots here in the community that are still available for sale uh, for this particular floor plan. So we're going to look at this one, and then we're going to look at the one right next door to it, which is, um, let's confirm. Now it's going to be this one here right there yeah that one right there that door right there garage right there yeah that's it all right that's going to be the chatworks floor plan we're going to take a look at both of these two floor plans and then we're going to take a look at the available lots that they are for sale on so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into today's tour uh feel free sit back relax let's get into it also please comment below as we're going through this let's have a conversation in the comments it helps the channel it helps the video also hit that like button if you're getting value from this channel or this video so without further ado let's go do it all right, guys, let's go ahead and jump into this one. This is, again, the Magnolia floor plan. Uh, this one is being sold uh, on lot 68, and it's been priced at $450,000. It is a, a four-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath, about 2,200 square feet uh, is the specs on it. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Now, I will tell you while we're walking up, this community is located. If you are into nature, like if you like biking trails, walking trails, all of that stuff, you're going to love this neighborhood because... It is right across the street from a trail entrance point. So all of that uh, nature feel you you want, you can get it in there, okay? Right here at uh, Old Lost Mountain uh, Estates here. So when you're coming into this one, this is gonna be just a quick little run through on these on this floor plan. We're not gonna be that thorough. The property is not fully completed. So uh, your toilet will sit on this side and your vanity or pedestal sink will sit on this side. Mirror and then lights okay um so we won't spend too much time just wanted to kind of show you what curly family homes has to offer here in this particular floor plan this is the first time i've done uh, a curly family home on a channel i believe i don't think so i don't think we've looked at any other communities of theirs um so but this is their magnolia floor plan um i like this one uh if the the, the thing about the uh bill between the two that we're going to look at is one is just a little bit choppier like this one the magnolia in my opinion is a little bit more open um so you open kitchen right into the living room and then you have a little separation with the dining room over there uh but i think that's the biggest difference is between the two homes that we're going to see today on, on on today's video um you do have an island with an overhang so you can get at least maybe three comfortably three maybe four if you're pushing it depending on the size of your bar stools um and then your refrigerator will sit on this side of the kitchen i do like the two-piece concept it makes the kitchen feel a little bit more stately uh than the or stately than the uh you know traditional l or you or you know galley all right so this is the pantry here it's gonna be a walk-in and kind of a large step in but <laughs> Nonetheless, you do have it. Uh, you do have the 42 inch cabinets. Um, you got some granite countertop on this one. No corks. Um, that could be an upgrade. I'm not sure. but. And then there's a small little breakfast area here um, that you could use if, if the bar stews is not enough. Uh, um, 
the island is not enough. And then this is your two-car garage. It's a standard two-car garage. It's not oversized or anything. Um, so your standard two-car, and then this is your entrance coming in home from the, from the garage, okay? So let's go ahead and take a look upstairs. Before we do that, though, let's look at this little closet here. This is a, uh, um, I guess, a storage closet. I, or maybe a coat closet because there is no coat closet up front. So you could use that both ways. And then we're back up towards the front. There is only one staircase, which is at the front of the door, and it is a straight up staircase. Um, no wraparound. Uh, at this price point, I will say um, this house is more of an entry level home. It's not, you know, it's not a mid tier home. So a lot of the bells and whistles, if you're looking for a mid tier, um, you're not going to see it in here. Okay, so coming straight upstairs, this is this is your view. Okay, there's no loft. There's just literally uh, literally a galley style hallway, and that's it. You do have uh -oh. you do have an overhang there from the little landing here you have, but no true, you know. I mean, you can't see down there until you're like literally right there. So, guest room one. And it does have a step-in closet with the uh, bi-fold doors. Well, the two doors. They don't fold, just two, two, uh, two doors. The bi-fold doors are two folding doors, but they're not folding. This is gonna be your hallway bath, so this is gonna be the bathroom that the guests upstairs will utilize. You do have a double vanity, which is nice. Uh, the ceiling height in here is pretty tall for upstairs as well. It's a uh, uh, nine plus foot ceilings here. And then guest room two. And they're all comparable in size for the most part. There's not a lot of variations between the bedrooms either. So all of them will hold a, the first one will definitely have a queen, okay. This one could do a queen, okay, probably awkward shape. This one is a more of a square shape. Definitely could do a queen, okay. You know, I, I honestly think, you know, queens has got to swallow the room. So I would say a fool would be more comp more preferable or a twin even, but that's just my opinion. Now this is the laundry room, which is super large uh, on this one. <laughs> really large. Uh, laundry room so if you're into having a lot of laundry space this is for you and it does have a uh, storage closet right in the laundry room okay uh, as you can see you do have some uh sheet vinyl this is a sheet of paper but it has the um hardware hardwood look to it okay and then this is the master All right, let me show you the other side. Do you have a vaulted ceiling in here? Uh, you could put a, queen, a king size bed on this wall. Let me flip around and show you this. In my opinion, this is the best wall to put a king size bed on. And you're gonna be right, like it's gonna be, you know, pretty much take up the whole width of between those windows. So if you have a queen, it'll fit even better with a little bit more space in the room. But even with that king size bed, you can have a dresser, your TV there, a chest drawer or a dra just a regular drawer, a dresser drawer there. Um, and you do have adequate lighting in here. You know, you got three or well, four windows total. Well, one cluster, but so, you know, a lot of uh, sunlight is getting in here. And then this is the master bath on this one. So if you're liking the video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. More content about Powder Springs is going to be coming in. So if you're thinking about moving to Powder Springs or looking around to find some different real estate options, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Cost you absolutely nothing. And also feel free to reach out to me. Um, very accessible. Uh, you can shoot me a text. You can shoot me a phone call. And uh, we can discuss uh, your wants and needs. And if you are unrepresented, if you don't have an agent already, I'd love to get that relationship started with you. 
Uh, I do have a process, uh, and my process is pretty smooth and straightforward, but it's all designed to make sure that you're gonna be, you know, having the best uh, transaction possible. Most of my clients will tell you that it's very smooth working with Raymond. So, um, nonetheless, I'm gonna probably invite some of them on the channel, the ones who wanna come, and uh, share their experience about working with me here uh, in Atlanta, from their relocations to, um, you know, just actually buying a home and already living here, right? Because just because you're not relocating doesn't mean you can't reach out to me. And I do not work with rentals, I'm sorry. Uh, but let me just show you the patio area of what you can get here. Now, this is not the particular home that is for sale. This home is actually already under contract. Uh, but this is kind of the standard uh, porch and patio setup for Curly Family Homes as their standard option. Um, so one of the things I'll say in the beginning of the subdivision, the, the homes are really close to each other, but you'll see when we get in the car and we go towards the back of the community, the land opens up. So you have a little bit more space between the homes there. Okay. Now you will have the uh, vinyl planks uh, in this particular level downstairs. So the hardwood that you see up under this pieces of paper here, this is actual vinyl, um, the, the, the planks, not the sheet of paper. Okay. So more durable. So, all right, let's go ahead and walk over here next door to the Chatworth. I'll see you when I get there. All right, so this is the Chatworth plan. Uh, this particular plan here is a four bedroom, two and a half bath as well. Square footage on this one is 2,279 square feet. Just a, a tad bit, about 70 square feet larger than the one you just saw. Um, but it does have a completely different feel in the inside. So uh, let's go ahead and walk through it. Now this one is available on lot 58 uh, for two, sorry, not two, <laughs> 461, 312. So uh, a little bit more expensive than the Magnolia plan. So you can see if you like this one better or not. So I'm gonna leave this door open because if not, it gets a little, gets a little dark here. Um, in my opinion, the lighting is not the best. So when you walk into the home, as you can see, there is no two story entrance uh, for you on this one. So it's just a traditional uh, nine plus foot ceiling uh, on this. I think it's actually 10 foot ceilings here. But when you walk into the door, that is your entrance here. And then your first room is gonna be your formal dining room. Go ahead and hit that light on there. Oh, it's on this side of the wall. Just to give you that real view. So you do get some chair rails, chair rail crown, uh, chair rail molding uh, here on this one. Uh, standard, I think, in the entire community. Got the brushed nickel um, hardware plan on this one. So was, uh, things are very light. Um, and then you have a little path through here. I want to say this is the pantry here. So you don't have a step in, you have just a bifold, the two, not bifold, the two doors there that you pull out and you step into, it's not a walk-in. And then behind that, you will find the kitchen. Uh, and it's kind of, like I said before, in comparison to Magnolia to the Chatworth, in my opinion, the Chatworth is a lot more um, defined, not as open, right? So. As you can see, we, we can peek, barely peek into each room. So if you want more definition, if you don't like everything just being a big square, then the chat words plan is gonna be for you for sure. So we're pointing back up towards the front of the home. You can see that light there. That's the dining room and you walk in and around and then you'll get to the kitchen, okay? Um, and you do still have an island, but it's just larger. So it's almost, uh, about uh, one plus one and a half times bigger than the one you just saw in the Magnolia. You can definitely comfortably get um, four bar stews up under this one, maybe five, depending on the size. Um, and you know, you get some nice uh, gray shaker style cabinets on this one, uh, but it is just that L piece, right? So looking at this kitchen, you just see that L. So it makes the L goes down and then it turns. That's your L shaped kitchen there. Um, so it's a little bit smaller. It doesn't feel as open, as inviting uh, as the Magnolia plan. And when you're standing in the kitchen, if you're standing in the furthest corner of your kitchen, you see wall, you peek into the dining room and you kind of peek into the family room there. So as I said, this is has this room has a little bit, this floor plan has a lot more definition um, and it's not as open, okay? But you know, everything can't be open. Because there are some people that just don't like open concepts. Some people like walls <laughs> and uh, definition. So 
This one the same way your toilet and um, vanity, your 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 pedestal sink likely is what it's gonna be, or vanity, one or the other, uh, will be beside each other. Um, I, I have not seen a more finished product in this community, so I I don't know what they're doing as far as the style of um, of a pedestal or vanity sink. But if you're interested in this community, obviously reach out to me via phone, and I can confirm that with you. And this is going to be your entrance in from the garage here. So same thing, standard size garage. This one here, you have a little bit of a compromise here on the space on that side, but actually you get a little bit of a storage here on the back side uh, there. So yeah, there you go. Two car garage, nothing fancy there. Just very standard. And then right outside of the garage door, you do have a coat closet here or storage closet, however you want to use it. And it's a little bit closer towards the front door versus the other. Now, another big difference in the Magnolia versus or the Chatworth versus the Magnolia is you do have a step uh, wraparound um, stairwell. So those of you who do not like turn this light on. Those of you who do not like the straight up uh, style uh, staircase, which I am not a fan of either. I, I just, it's something about, maybe it's age. I don't know. Maybe as you get older, you don't want that incline straight up anymore. It just doesn't, it, it doesn't, I don't know. It, it just doesn't work for me as much as it used to when I was younger, but I love the wrap around. I think it adds a little bit of character and it gives you that pause that you need, uh, especially if you're carrying things up the stairs, that landing, <laughs> that landing will save your life sometimes. Old people know what I mean. Drop a comment below. Let me know if you know what I mean. All right, so uh, this floor plan here too is, you have a little bit more space, galley space. Let me get these lights on so we can see it together here. So coming up the stairs, you do have a little bit more of a landing than the Magnolia, okay? So here's some of your 79 square feet right here. But let's go ahead and look at our first room. I will say this room is super tiny. So I would not, you, queen wouldn't work here. So maybe a twin size bed, a, a toddler's room. This would be great. Great little toddler's room or even an infant's room. Really great. Um, nice amount of storage uh, space though. You get a big walk-in closet. Uh, because of the shape, they couldn't make the room larger because it just wouldn't make sense to have, you know. But anyway, uh, yeah, large walk-in closet, but super small room on the guest room one here for the uh, chat room. All right, so here's your hall bathroom here. We're doing it in a different order. And so you have your double vanity straight in, and then you make a quick right, and then you have your toilet room uh, tucked off to the side there uh, for your water supply, okay? Or your tub and toilet. All right. A regular size laundry room on this floor plan, not as big as the Magnolia. Okay, so that's one of the differences. And then let's go ahead and, that's the master, we'll save that one for last. Um, so this here is the, what is this? Guest room three or two? Yeah, this is guest room two. So guest room two, so this is the second one. Now this one will fit a queen size bed, no problem. Big closet. I will say the Chatworth closets are much larger than the Magnolia. Okay, so if you need more storage space, Chatworth may be what you want. Okay, another bedroom that's a little tight. It's a little tight. You may be able to fit a queen size bed in here though, but it's a little tight. And then you have your walk-in closet. So each room here in the Chatworth have walk-in closets. So that is really truly the biggest difference, uh, well one of the biggest differences in the two plans that I've shown you today. Okay, now let's go ahead and take a look at the master here. Um, all right, so you do still have that double vanity. I will say, I mean sorry, <laughs> the vaulted ceiling, <laughs> double vanity. Uh, the vaulted ceilings here, all right, now you do, you can see one obvious difference is you don't have as much light in your room as you did the Magnolia. So if you, 
If you are a fan of natural light, which I don't know why they just didn't put another window there, but you know. Uh, but it's more of a square shape. You can fit a queen, a king size bed and a queen size bed in here. Likely your bed will go on this side of the wall here, facing the door. Most people like to face the door. And that would be your view facing the door, okay? Now I will say I do like the bathroom in the Chatworths floor plan a little bit better because it is much larger in size than um, the Magnolia, all right? So your toilet room is right up front here in this bathroom. And you got your linen closet there. Your tub, now this is a really small tub, I will say. Um, fiberglass shower enclosure. And you do have a walk-in closet here on the back side, okay? Same double vanities there, mirror. But it is much more open than the Magnolia bathroom. I think the Magnolia bathroom was a little bit more of a galley style walking through versus this rectangular opening there. Okay. All right. So now let's go ahead and jump in the car and uh, let me just show you quickly those two lots and also show you another uh, area of the community, which is the backside. Most of the building now is towards the rear of the neighborhood. So Let's go ahead and jump in the truck and uh, head over there and take a look. All right, guys, so we are walking up towards lot 68 now, and I'm gonna show you the actual home that is for sale right now. We're gonna walk through it quickly. This is the Magnolia plan. So this is, if you wanna go back to the video, it's the first, or in your mind, not physically, but uh, it's gonna be the first house I showed in our walkthrough today. So th this is the same layout as that home. All right, um, so this is the color palette. It's already chosen. It's gonna be a gray color palette. Um, I'm not sure if those shutters are their final color yet, but uh, at least the siding looks like it's been painted. Uh, let me just show you before the rain comes. <laughs> uh, right in front of this home is gonna be one of the amenity sections, is, which is a little park, and it overlooks a lake here. Uh, this community, well, I, guess I should say a pond. It's not really a lake, because it's real small. Um, but you can see it in the distance there. It's a private pond here for the community. Uh, looks like it may be like a little gazebo area they built out here with some green space. Uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna have any children amenities like slides and things like that, but a little green area and it does deed it uh, or um, uh, has it titled as the park, okay? So let me just show you the layout, not the layout, the uh, backyard. We're gonna just kind of walk straight through it, show you the backyard again. This house is actually for sale. 450,000 uh, and it's a four bedroom, two and a half bath, about 2,209 square feet. All right. So you kind of jog in memory real fast. Like, oh yeah, that's the one. <laughs> um, so this is the backyard here on this particular layout. Uh, and this again, this is the particular home that is for sale. Uh, that's a little bit of an eyesore there, I will say. But you can fix that with a privacy fence uh, so you don't have to see that. And let me show you the closeness. Um, we haven't gotten to the back of the community yet. We're kind of like in the middle right now. But this is how close this house is to this one here. So if you're not, if you're okay with not needing a whole ton of space, then you, this, this may be an option for you. But uh, if you want more land, I'm, I don't think this community, there may be one in the back. A few in the back will I'll show you the contrast on the lot sizes but for the most part this may not be the community for you okay so this is lot 68 so we're gonna go ahead and find lot 58 and uh, we'll put a wrap on this video here in a minute so again thank you for watching hit that like button if you have not done so uh, already and hit the subscribe button if you're thinking about buying a home or selling a home here in the Atlanta Metro uh, feel free to reach out to me I would love to connect with you and uh, see what your wants and needs are and uh, strike up a plan and accomplishing it for you. So let me find lot 58 and I'll be right back. All right, welcome to lot 58 guys. Um, so this is gonna be that Chatworths floor plan which is the second one that we saw, um, you know, as we walked through. Um, yeah, it's still in framing so I'm not gonna go inside of the, the property um, but I just wanna show you the backyard 
um, so you can kind of get an idea of the land. Now, also, let me show you this. That is where that house is going to begin, right at that corner of that frame there. So uh, you can see how close they are. It does have a little bit of an angle over, so it kind of widens out as you walk deeper in. Uh, but again, just wanted to be clear on the um, the size between the homes. And this one here backs up, oh wow, absolutely no backyard on this one almost. Um, backs all the way up to the property line here for the actual community too. So you do have a, a little gate there. Um, I'm not sure if you'll be able to put any other kind of gate right up against that one. I'm not sure on that. But this is this one here, the chat word, lot 58. Okay, and it's priced at 461. And ultimately, I think what makes this community unique is the, the location. Being in Cobb County, Cobb County is one of you know the one of the most sought out counties in the Atlanta Metro. One of them. I'm not saying the, but one of them. It's up there in the top, up in the top fives. Um, so you have that going for, and it's literally right by uh, all of this uh, biking and hiking and trails and nature. Uh, and it's a very quiet section of the Metro too. Um, about maybe 13 minutes from Interstate 20 uh, so and that's the other property right there well no the porch is gonna end right here so still a little close there okay uh, but but that's that's the going what, what you have going for the houses or this location here is is or this home here or these homes here is the location and in real estate a lot of times location 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 you know so now um, let's go ahead and jump in the truck and we'll, I'll show you kind of where the property opens up a little bit more here. They get a little bit more of a distance in between, but it's not significant. Like you're not going to have a half an acre on this community, uh, but it gets a little bit less just kiss your neighbor. So let me show you a few of those and uh, I'll go ahead and uh, put a wrap on this video. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the new homes alert here in Powder Springs, Georgia. Uh, this community here, um, Old Lost Mountain here in Powder Springs, uh, offered by Curly Family Homes. Uh, in my honest opinion, I do think the build quality uh, and the overall value is middle of the road. I, I will not say that you're getting a ton a ton a ton a ton of value for your money i will say understanding the material cost and the actual market right now i think that um you're paying for you're getting pretty much what you're paying for you're not getting a whole lot more you're just getting the bare minimum here at this community i do think though uh prices are always subject to change in real estate with this being a shift in market anything is possible i don't want to sell the notion that these prices are going to be twenty thirty thousand dollars cheaper uh depending on when you're watching this video that could be the case but uh, I will say don't get caught up on pricing reach out to me the whole point of you watching this video is to see if you're gonna like the Magnolia plan or the Chatworth plan uh, because those are the two plans I looked at today uh, if those two plans one of those two plans work for you give me a call and then we can talk about pricing we can talk about all of that uh, also you know any real estate concerns you have buying or selling in the Atlanta metropolitan area including Powder Springs uh, and the entire state of Georgia I want to be a resource to you I'm very accessible you can shoot me a text message you can shoot me a phone call uh, and we can uh, discuss exactly what your plans are and I can let you know uh, if I can assist you in reaching those plans and also giving you what my strategy would look like in reaching that uh, so um, yeah, feel free to reach out to me. I don't just do YouTube just to show you communities. I do it so that so that I can help you know customers uh, become clients of mine and help them achieve their real estate goals. So watch this channel with intent, with purpose, uh, because you never know when you'll need me. So 
uh, hit that subscribe button, uh, become a part of the YouTube family. Over 90 videos now, I think, I'm maybe over 100 uh, videos showing you different communities, different suburbs, different tours, different areas of the Atlanta metropolitan area so that you can accelerate your learning, your growth uh, in the Atlanta metropolitan area. Thank you for watching the video. If it was any way helpful, hit that like button. So without further ado, I'm gonna let you go and get out of here. Have a good rest of your day, evening, night, whenever you're watching this video, and I'll see you on the next one.